We are now in the final stretch of the 2023 athletic season before the big national championships and the world championship competitions finally take place. It's been a pretty wild ride so far this season, with 5,000 meter running now going completely insane, Mondo Duplantis continuously making the 6 meter pole vault look like it's nothing, Carson Vorholm is back in style, Jakob Ingebrigtsen is completely owning middle distance right now, and of course, the speedsters are still lighting up the track, blazing the 100 and 200 meter events, and they are looking very compelling at this point. There is so much talent continuing to rise up and records are relentlessly falling that I cannot help but think that come this year's World Championships, we are set to see something quite amazing. And speaking of amazing, there is one athlete right now from a very small country in Africa that is doing something that hasn't been done in close to 20 years, and the real possibility of a historic moment in this year's World Finals is only becoming more and more of a reality. On August 21st of 2004, the women's 100 meter Olympic finals took place in Athens, Greece. Now this field was super loaded with talent, as it included Lauren Williams, Veronica Campbell-Brown, Aline Bailey, and Sharon Simpson. However, the ultimate victor on this day was Yulia Nestiarenka from Belarus. With a strong start from Lauren Williams, she looked to be the favorite over the opening 50 meters. However, with a very quick close, Nestyarenko was just unbeatable on this day, winning the women's 100 meters in 10.93 seconds, winning over Lauren Williams in 10.96. This appeared to be just another solid victory for one of the world's fastest back in 2004. However, this single moment actually is much more significant than many people realize, and it set forth a sequence of events that completely changed the women's 100 forever. Since this single race in the Athens Olympic Games, the women's 100 meters would forever be dominated by two countries, and these countries were Jamaica and also the United States. Since 2004, the Olympic Finals and World Championship Finals have only included these two countries at the very top of the podium. In 2005, Lauren Williams ultimately got her revenge, and then in 2007, we saw the Jamaicans officially take control as Veronica Campbell-Brown ultimately took the victory. However, as this decade came to a close, we would start to see the real powerhouses of women's sprinting finally arrive, as Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson Hera, both from Jamaica, quickly proved to be two of the greatest championship runners of all time. Between 2008 and 2022, Thompson Hera and Fraser Price won nine global championship finals in the 100 meters, breaking pretty much every imaginable record along the way. And in a further breakdown of these two legends, we can see that out of the top 20 fastest races in women's 100 history, these two have a crazy amount of performances to their name. In fact, why don't you take a guess at what these two have achieved in this category? Maybe it's eight total times, or perhaps something like 12. Well, the actual truth is that these two have 16 out of the top 20 fastest times ever run in the women's 100 meters, and they've all pretty much been achieved over the past three or four seasons. To put it simply, Jamaicans along with women from the United States have more or less owned this single event since the year 2005. However, against the history of this event, we are seeing one athlete make a real attempt to break this streak in 2023, and her name is Marie Jose Talou from the Ivory Coast. Tolu has been running very consistently since the year 2016, breaking the 11 second barrier with regularity and hitting a new personal record of 10.72 seconds in the 2022 season. However, despite her super quick running and relentless fast times over the previous few years, she has always finished in the shadows of her Jamaican and American rivals, winning two silver medals in 2017 and winning a bronze medal in the Doha finals in 2019. Across her career, Tolu has actually made it to a total of four separate Olympic and World Championship finals, but for one reason or another, a gold medal has continued to elude her. However, what we are seeing in 2023 very well could change the history of the women's 100 meters. So far this season, Tolu has been on an absolute tear of 100 meter excellence. From May 6th up to present day, Tolu hasn't lost a single 100 meter race, and along with her great starting abilities and her amazing top end speeds, she's been completely unbeatable in the women's 100. However, on June 15th in the Bislett Games in Oslo, Norway, she achieved a super quick time of 10.75,
which was not only a new season's best for her this year, but was also the fastest time in the world for a female athlete in the 100 in 2023. Now, this performance took down the previous world's fastest time this season that was previously set by Shakari Richardson in Doha, Qatar. And with incredible top speed again, Talu only continued to prove her greatness on this day. And even though this world-leading time of 10.75 was certainly impressive, there was actually another event in this year's Lausanne Diamond League meeting that truly shocked the world. And this is the women's 4x100 meters. And believe me, this is one of the craziest performances that we have seen in 2023. Now, this race kind of flew under the radar as it wasn't quite as reported on as other events. However, what Marijo Setulu and the Ivory Coast did in this event is just incredible. Now, for the first leg, the Ivory Coast got out to a pretty solid lead, well ahead of everyone else in the field. However, for this second relay leg, Tolu absolutely destroyed her competition. Even though the camera angles never even zoomed in on her, you can see just how much faster she is running than anyone else in this field. Now, you can see for the opening 20 or 30 meters just how quickly she was accelerating, and unfortunately, you couldn't see much of the race. However, just look at the gap that she created over this 100 meter distance. Now, the visuals of this are already pretty epic, and you can tell that she was absolutely flying. And thankfully, there were some official splits released of this 4x100, which I will make sure to link down below in the description so you can see. And according to this split time, she ran this second leg, are you ready for this? In 9.7 seconds, which Bruh. makes this single moment one of only seven 9.7 splits in the history of the women's 100 meters. Considering that she had just run a 100 meter dash about one hour earlier, makes this relay leg a very, very scary prospect for anyone else in the world set to compete against Talud this season. This was as close to a perfect relay leg as you can get. She took the lead, she accelerated beyond recognition, and getting under 9.8 is just unbelievable. At the moment, Tolu is undoubtedly one of the clear favorites to bring home a global medal in this year's World Championships. But, can she win the World Championship Gold Medal and rewrite the record books in the women's 100 meters? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time. And it's looking like the next challenge she's gonna get, Paul, is going to be the World Championship rounds. Because there's nobody that's had an answer for her in the Diamond League circuit.